Hello everyone, FunshotX here. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. As promised, today we are going to put custom blocks into the game. We're going to not only put in the game, but give them some, uh, you know, description and and more more information in the GUI. You know, last or a couple videos ago, I showed you guys how to add like the indestructible lock, the insulation, and the space block into the game. Um, but they kind of had weird descriptions and they were all messed up and not aligned and they were invisible and all kind of stuff. So I'm going to fix all that. I figured out everything you need to do with that. You can technically call this modding if you want. I guess, I guess that's the only real name for it. Uh, but it's not hard. It's not like you have to write code or anything like that. We're just changing text files and doing MS Paint basically on images. Um, so... That's really all there is to it. Again, please make sure you back up your data file before you do this. If for some reason you forget to back up your files and you want to revert back to the game, just go into Steam and set delete local, you know, after you've saved your maps, of course. Delete local content, re-download the game, and it should be all set up back to normal. Uh, although my hair is still skinhead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it buzzed head because skinhead has a, a, a very negative connotation. So I have a buzzed head, buzzed blonde head as the male character. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go out of strap mechanic in the data files. And remember, we looked in basic materials. Let's first talk about the, the hidden blocks and how to fix all that. Uh, we remember we saw that there's three hidden blocks. There's insulation, indestructible, and, uh, well, spaceship blocks. I don't know why it says this, just because they haven't finished it. Um, but what you're going to do is, um, you can see these don't have IDs. Uh, so it's it's really tough to say without looking in game what what order they need to go in. Um, but basically, the JSON, when the game reads the JSON file, it just assigns this one, one, this one, two, this one, three. And when it's adding it to the GUI, that's the order it puts it in. All right, so to add these to the game, go ahead and remove the comment section, the slash star for all three blocks. Um, but you'll notice now that they're now in a different order. Whereas before, you know, concrete's always the first one, wood plank's second. Um, but then with these commons and out, bricks would have been the sixth one, but now insulation is six. So the GUI's gonna get all messed up and what order everything is in and, and that kind of stuff. So we need to go and change the GUI. So if you go to data, GUI and then find uh, inventory item descriptions and that's going to be a .json file as well so you can open that up in a text editor whatever one you uh, prefer and you can see at the very top it's got the names so concrete has an ID of one now here they say it's medium uh, but it could be whatever the density is you can see the density is not described so medium is accurate uh, basic wood is light, so that should be right. Wood, lightweight. And here's the default. This is not the color of the wood. It's the color of the underline. I'm going to show you what that means. All right, so when we bring up the GUI, you can see that all the blocks have this blue underline underneath them. Uh, the kind of interactive have an orange, and the decoration have a green, and that's pretty much all, all that's used. So this color right here, 105, 166, 215, is that bluish color. Um, that's under the underneath the building blocks and you can see here's what they suggest you use you know so for anything base materials use this blue you can use whatever you want and we'll see that later uh, so let's make sure everything else is correct metal heavy number three barrier light number four is that correct yeah that's right uh, tile medium five and now we've got a problem because this says brick medium six but over here the sixth one that we have to find is insulation light. So instead, we need to change the order. So we're going to take bricks out of here and put them as the sixth block. Oops, we got to make sure you don't mess up with the commas or it will not load. So now bricks is the, the sixth block, and it says bricks are medium. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete density so they actually are medium. That makes sense to me. Uh, we can make them heavy, but basically there's a bug in the game where this doesn't match up with what's in basic materials. Somebody messed up at Axelot. Uh, and then we can see that it says indestructible is seven lightweight. So we can look on there and here's our ins. Oh, nope, that's wrong. So we need to put indestructible before the insulation. So that's number seven and it is lightweight. Is that what it said? Just make sure, yep. So this one needs a density value. 
Let's just keep them in the same order that they have. Of 250. Now they've got next insulation as heavy. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just going to make it light as well. But watch here what we're going to say extremely light. And we're going to change uh, indestructible to be 25. Let's keep point at zero, zero there to make it a float. So yeah, so indestructible is now going to be extremely light block. That sounds great. And insulation is now a light block at 250. And this is spaceship is heavy. And we've got uh, that's not even on here. So I'm going to have them copy this whole section here, paste it down. Let's say space hole block, and let's make it heavy. Is the description and you could add a description in here if you wanted to and the last thing we need to do don't forget is change this ID or so we if we left it at 8 it would just overwrite this one so your insulation block would not be there as far as the description anyway so there we go block 9 will be our space block save that all and start up scrap mechanic we should see them in the game um, what have we done we've made sure that they're in the correct order we made sure their weights are correct we've given them new IDs and descriptions and names and all that kind of stuff so we should let's start up the game and just see if we've missed anything. And yeah, let's go ahead and look. And then oh, we're still missing something, but you can see that everything lines up correctly now. This is brick, indestructible, extremely lightweight. I love that. <laughs> Insulation block, lightweight, and space hole heavy light. Um, so we should be able to put these in the game now. There's the indestructible. There's the insulation, and there's the space hole block. All right, so we need to fix the GUI as, because they're not showing up here. So what I like to do is get, um, yeah, I think the concrete is the easiest. Actually, this orange might work really good. Put down a couple of these. Actually, that's, pl that's plenty. One is fine. Get the block that you want to appear and just put it on there. And then get like nothing. And then take a screenshot of it. There we go. So there we go. There's a much better one. Let's do the same thing with the other blocks. Um, if you're a 3D mo let me Let me... I should have prefaced this before. I am not an artist. I don't know 3D modeling and all that kind of stuff and texturing that very, you know, very well. So, um, yeah, don't expect this uh, to be a tutorial on how to make really cool textures and <laughs> make everything look good. All right, so let's get a screenshot of this one. Oh, come on. Like that. Perfect, and let's get one of this. Okay, now we got three screenshots of these blocks. Um, we're gonna go into, still in the GUI folder. If we go to iconmap.png and open that up. Uh, here's this just in the image viewer. But you can see this is where all the icons are. And they're all 80 by 80 images um, in this larger image. So if I wanted, right now you notice they didn't show up in the GUI because it doesn't know where to find them. There's nothing in here for space block or indestructible block. So we can add them. So let's go ahead and open this icon map in any kind of editor. I'm going to put it open in PaintNet. All right. So... Let me zoom out one layer so you guys can see a little better. There we go. So here we've got the image. It's transparent and that's important. Um, but we want to somewhere add those three blocks that we just took a screenshot of. I don't want to put them necessarily right here. Let's put them on the next line down. Um, and remember these are 80 by 80 blocks. So if we check our cursor right here, I am 0, 80. So that's the first row, second row, third row. So we'll put it right down here. And what I like to do, just when I'm doing simple textures, I created a new layer there and I'm gonna get like a bright pink and get the rectangle tool here. And let's make it brush width of one. And let's zoom, zoom down here. And I'm gonna make a pink, oh you guys won't be able to see that. 
make it smaller. Okay, get out of my way. I'm going to make a pink line. We're going to start right at 0, 0800 and make an 80 by 80 block. So that is 81. Oh, my mouse is too fidgety. Oh, come on. 80. 80. Okay. <laughs> Copy paste that block and make a second one. And we're putting three textures in the game. So let's oops. Okay. paste. There we go. So there's the outline of the three textures that we need. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to snag it. And I'm going to grab first the indestructible. Copy that one. And we're going to put that on a new layer here. And let's see if we can magic wand some of this out of here. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> so I deleted that. And now I can... Um, Take a, oops, no. come on, this guy. Take it like that. You can see I don't use photo editing programs a lot. And we need to shrink it so it fits in there and looks decent. All right, that looks good to me. I'm not trying to make them look perfect. Let's do the same thing with our insulation block. And if you wanted it to be perfect, if you were putting out like a mod pack, maybe you would make these all the same size or that kind of stuff. But again, I'm just showing you what to do and shrink her down as well. All right, so now we have these three blocks. We obviously don't want um, this purple layer, the pink layer on there. So I'm going to get rid of that and then do file save and save it as a PNG. I called icon map. And you might want to make a, a backup, but I'm confident with it. So I'll go ahead and hit save and hit yes. So now if we look at it, we can see we've got our three new blocks in there. They don't look exactly like the other blocks, but close enough, right? And we'll hit OK. And it's going to flatten it. And we're perfect. OK. Now what do we need to do? Well, there's one other thing. We need to go into iconmap.xml and open that one up in a text editor. And you can see it's defined the empty. That's like when you don't want to select anything. Then it's got block one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if you remember, we added seven, eight, and nine. So let's just make a copy of this and just say seven, eight, nine. And we need to find, tell it where in the icon map these icons are. So block six, which is a stone, was at 480, zero. And remember, we started on a new row. And let's go look at that again. Paint, where are you, paint? This was at 800, so 0, 0800 would be our first one, which is block 7, so I'm going to change that to 0, 0800. The next one would be 80, 800, and then the third one would be 160, 800. So the second column is your row, your first column is your column, and there we go, first value. Save that. Uh, close scrap mechanic down and open it again. This might be a longer video. Apologize about that, guys, but I wanted to start with a very basic, you know, just putting a few blocks that are already in the game, and then we'll get to a custom block here in a minute. All right, so now if we, oh, we got, we can already see them. Here we go. So we've got the indestructible. Its its icon is there, and the description is perfect. And it'll appear down on our heart bar as well. I have no problem with that. So that's all there is to it, guys. If you want to add something, you can see I didn't get that one centered very well, but close enough. We at least know what we are drawing with. We now have them in the game. Hooray! So let's add a custom block. I'm going to close down Scrap Mechanics. And let's talk about the file. So if we look at basic materials, let's add another one. This will be block 10. So let's go ahead and copy base ship block and paste it again and this is going to be I don't know what this has to, this has to do with anything so don't worry about that um, I want to make a block that it's heavyweight it's made of metal and we're going to call it Tron it's going to be called the Tron block all right so I'm going to just replace spaceship with Tron who knows if that well it probably trademarked but <laughs> Maybe we'll call it Trump. 
But well, it's it's really T Ron. Ron is my name, so T Ron. Yeah, it's not Tron. It's the T Ron block. And you see, you can see I need three files. I need a diff file, well, diff.tga and asg.tga and a normal.mora.tga. All right, and then the last thing we want to check is that color. Um, let's go into paint. I've got a pre-image here, so I'm just going to put it on a temporary layer. Uh, keep the canvas size, and we'll grab this nice blue color here. Where are you? Dropper tool. Let's get that blue. That blue. Come on, tell me what you are. Is 0099EA. Sounds great. So 0099EA is Tron Blue. T Ron Blue. <laughs> so I should be done, right? We just need to add these three files and we're good to go. Uh, not quite. We need uh, to go into the inventory description and let's add block 10. So copy everything from there. Let's call it the Tron block. It's heavy. And I want to, whenever I make a custom block or a custom thing, I want to put my own underline just to dem d denote that it's my my block. So I'm going to make it some kind of like a cyanish color. So let's do that same thing, but we need actual values. 0, 153, 234. So that'll make the underline on the Tron block uh, kind of a cyan color as well. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we're gonna need an icon for it as well. So block 10 here. And this will be at 240, 180, or 240, And I'm gonna wait to actually put it on the icon map um, for now. And we can delete this, we don't need it anymore. I'll put it right here basically. So let's take this and we can probably just move it up. Oh, nope, nope, not move that layer, this layer. Ah, forget it, I'll just, I'll make a new one in a minute. Um, but what we do wanna do is open up a few files. So if we look in the GUI, um, actually, we're gonna go back up to data, objects, textures, blocks. Now here's all the textures for the blocks in the game. And remember, we're gonna kind of base this off the spaceship block. So I wanna open all of these. Um, that one and the ASG and the normal. All right, so what are these files? Well, your normal file is your basically how light bounces. I don't know, if you think in 3D modeling, it's which direction the face faces. And people use normal maps all the time to kind of give the appearance that a 2D texture, a flat texture has uh, three dimensions. So it looks like it's more three dimensional than it is. Our block, yeah, we could do that. Um, but all you should really know is this kind of weird bluish purplish color is is the normal that faces straight out towards the uh, viewer, the camera, whatever. So if you leave it like this, it'll just be flat. It'll have no, no normal at all. However, if we go and maybe look at something like the, the brick blocks normals, you can see this one has the blue as the, the, you know, what faces out to you, but it's got a kind of pink that faces to the right, a uh, green faces up, a uh, darker green that faces left, and a purple that faces down. So we might want to use those colors later, um, but that's that. And then what is the TGA file? Well, for space block, it's nothing. Um, but if we look at it for another block, let's look at it for maybe the dirt block. No, not dirt. Uh, sorry, that's a custom block I did. <laughs> you guys are like, dirt, where did dirt come from? No, let's look at it for the metal file. It's yellow, that's kind of weird. And if we look at it for the like wood file, it's kind of black and green. It's, it's, it's really weird. But basically, this is reflection, is all I can kind of attribute to it. So anything that is black is non-reflective at all. Anything that is like this bright green is perfectly reflective. Well, not perfectly reflective. It's kind of like... Uh, medium reflective anything is white is like 
glowing. Like the indestructible block has a white texture for its ASG file. Um, and that means it just glows. So if you want a glowing block, make it all white. If you want it to be completely dull, make it black. If you want it kind of in the middle, make it this green character texture. So I think we're gonna we're kind of make a combination of that. And then you've got the texture here itself. Now the diff.tga uses all four channels. So the RGB is just the normal texture. So you can see here in the space block, it's just the actual texture. The alpha texture, the alpha channel though, is used to do color substitution. So in those text files, when we have this color here, what it'll do is it'll take the alpha channel and blend it with whatever color is right here. And that's why we could, in a, a previous uh, thing, I changed like the color of wood. Um, it blended the alpha channel of the wood planks diff.tga. Uh, with the color that you put here to get the actual color of uh, the final color of the texture. And you can see that um, Wood's diff TGA is pretty much all transparent. So that's why it's normally brown, but if you change that color value, it completely changes the, te the texture. Um, whereas metal, that's the diff, yeah, let's look at metal, is completely transparent as well. So if we change the color of metal, it'll change the color of texture. So that's, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and um, take these blocks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a copy of them. Well, let's just do save as here. Uh, oops. Come on, go away. So let's do file, save as, and we're gonna call this, um, we called it T-RON, right? And what do we want? Uh, yep, save it, fine. What do we want our Tron block to look like? Well, I want it pretty much completely black uh, for the most part. So let's go ahead and make this completely black. That's not black. Come on. Fine. <laughs> Here we go. It's completely black. But I want the user or you know our text file our configuration file to be able to define what color the grids are right so that means i need to make them transparent so we'll go ahead and take a uh, let's let's get a rectangle tool here and we'll do the rectangle brush width let's make it like 15 so you want it pretty wide and i'm just going to draw from zero zero oops I need to get an actual color. Let's just make it pink for now and drag this all the way down to 512, 512. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, try this again from 00 down to 512, 512. So that should take up the whole Thing. And remember, this is going to be tiled across like six blocks. So this grid will be six blocks wide. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, magic wand and delete the outside. So now I've got completely transparent texture on the outside, which means it'll be blended with whatever color I define in the text file. So I can make it cyan, but if I want to change it to yellow, I can change it to yellow and this stuff. So let's go ahead and save that. Now I'm gonna take this file here and copy it, and we're gonna to go to the green layer and save this at, oops, was this? Yeah, Tron, okay. Make sure I'm editing the right block. Save this one as Tron ASG, save that. And, yep, okay, and create a new layer and put that there. Now, what that'll mean is the, the inside, remember this is our reflective layer, the inside will have no reflection at all, Whereas the outside where the, the kind of the grid is will have pretty decent reflection, um, but I actually want it to glow 100%. So I'm gonna take a white color on the background here and completely white it there. So the grid will now reflect 100%, it'll be glowing almost, and then the, inter the inner turn will be mute. And maybe why we don't wanna do it quite mute. Oops, stay white. So let's, on this layer, let's, <laughs> let's do a really kind of a dark gray so it'll reflect a little bit and I think that'll look good all right so save that and now 
No, I don't want to save you as a PDN. I want to save you as a TGA. Flatten. Okay. Then the last thing we have are normals. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it flat normals, but if I wanted to, what I should probably do is copy this, um, at least the outline, and then draw green on the top part, pink on the sides, purple on the bottom, and blue on the, you know, whatever these four colors are, just so it kind of looks right. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just want to get in the game. So I'll be, I'm just going to take this. No normals. And guys, if you look in the um, data textures folder, there is a file called no nor underscore nor, and that means no normals. They're basically no, no, yeah, no normals, default normals. And so you can actually use that one instead of declaring your own. Uh, if we look at something like the indestructible block, it actually does that. It uses no normals. So I'm going to do that as well. And you can see it uses white.ping for its reflection, so that would be, you know, glowing, basically. So I think we're done. We've got the diff, the ASG, and the normal file done. We've got our color, our default color, and we can actually put in another one. Let's do that one as well while we're here. And let's make this one more of a yellow. So let's do the EA on the first. That should be a yellowish color. I think we're good to go. Back to this one. Make a copy of here. Call this one Tron Yellow. Tron Cyan. And yeah, we are. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see if it's in the game. Oh, this is getting really long. Apologize, guys. But uh, you know, modding, doing this. It's it's simple, but it, it's a little more time lengthy. So let's load our game, custom block map, and we crashed. All right, so we crashed. If I open up the log file, ogre, and then the latest log, um, you can see it said file not found exception, cannot locate Rosa's block tron ASG at TGA. So somehow we saved that with the wrong name. You guys probably already saw me do it, but let's go back to scrap mechanic, data, um, objects, textures, and see what we messed up with here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, did it not save it in the right place? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, we called it Tromp. That would do it. <laughs> okay. And you can see it only crashes once you actually start the game. So, But it was a good thing that crashed because you guys now know where to see it. Look for the log file and find out how to determine why it crashed. And looking better this time. We didn't crash, so let's go into here. And you can see we haven't given ourselves... Um, uh, GUI files yet, so um, don't, those won't show up. Um, but you can see the underscore is that nice cyan. I might want to change it because it's a little bit too close to their default. But let's go and put that one in there and that one in there. And we should now have our custom Tron block. So let's go ahead and draw that out like that. Oops. And you guys can see immediately a problem. And let's put the yellow one on there. I don't know if this is the right yellow. I just made it up. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. That's a pretty decent yellow for Tron. Um, but let's talk about this. So you can see that it did um, use the color from our um, text file when we said, you know, what color it should be. So this made it, this one used cyan and this one used yellow. Um, you can also see if we look at the sun, you can see this kind of glow. The, even the black glows, but the, the blue grow, glows white when we reflect into the sun. Um, and then it, it yeah, has a weird glowing. There's some weird aliasing going on. But the biggest problem is the level of detail. Now if, I, if you watch over here and I back away, the yellow starts disappearing when you're like, you know, maybe 30 blocks away from something. And that's a problem that I've noticed. And it only happens with the substitution color, which is a bummer. Because I would like to just have one texture and use it multiple times. Um, but that's unfortunate. It happens to everything, and it has is something to do with normals, but I'm never able to fix it, even, you know, I have no normals. If I do this, and I back off, that yellow will stay for quite a while. And that, that's acceptable to me, if the yellow disappears this far away. But you can see the blue on the top surface is just gone. And 
yeah, that's 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 a bummer. Unfortunately, guys, I've tried and I've tried. I can't find a way to to make this not level a detail out when I get far, far away from it. Um, it's a really weird look, you know, look where it just all turns black. Uh, I think it just has to do with you know the size of it when the texture is that small or that you know the patch of color it just averages out what's around it. And so when you get far enough away, it's like, oh, I'm mostly black around me, so I'm just going to average to black when I'm far away from the block. So I guess if we made our grid lines thicker or more often, we might be able to solve that. But I really wanted it to work like that. Oh, well, that was fun. Guys, we went pretty long, um, but I have showed you how to add your own custom textures and blo blocks, building blocks into the game anyway. So you could do this. You could add some dirt blocks. You could add some grass. You could add some iron ore. I don't know, whatever whatever you want to add. You could add more Tron blocks. What, <laughs> anything you wanted. As, as far as cubes, you can put them in the game pretty easily. You just need to know that you need that diff file, which is kind of the main main texture the ASG which is the reflection and the normals which is kind of to make it 3d which you don't really need at all and uh, put modify the two text files uh, then go ahead and change the GUI I didn't do it because um, it's gonna take too long but you do it the same way that we did these three get some kind of screenshot put it in that GUI file and then tell it where to find it in the XML file and you've got your blocks so I hope you guys liked it. Um, it's kind of a different episode. I haven't seen anyone really put out a video on, on how to do this, but it's not that hard. It just takes a little while. You can trial and error, take some time, and you can figure it out. Give it a try, guys. I know you can do it. Um, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys for more Scrap Mechanic later. Catch you guys later. Bye.